silver eagles, we can't get enough of them, right? The question is, where is the better value today? First 20 years, we made onks and proofs, and the proofs are always the lower mintage, the higher quality, definitely a place to consider, a place to be. But for our 20th anniversary in 2006, the U.S. Mint introduced a new type of look and feel. It's called satin, burnished, you might have heard sandblasted. The easiest way to understand the difference is there's a W mint mark on the back of the coin, of an uncirculated coin for the first time. Tonight we have a beautiful opportunity on three you never see. 2014, 2015, and yes, the edge lettering, the only edge lettering, the lowest mintage edge lettering coin for the 30th anniversary made by the U.S. Mint. And you're not seeing a wrong price. It really is tonight $79.95. That's where I said, wow, earlier in reference to this, the flow of this. Now, Allison made this reference a few weeks ago, and it might make a lot of sense to you as well. But if you use paint as an analogy for grades, right, and you have your flat paint equal to an uncirculated coin. You have your glossy paint equal to a proof coin. And then they have what they call a matte finish, right? That is the satin finish you're seeing here. There's the W mint mark above the word fine silver, right? For the first time in 06. Now this is the 16 which has the beautiful edge lettering on it, the only coin in the series. They made a proof and a satin, but the satin is way, way, way rarer. It's the rarest of all the edge lettering. Let's go over some numbers, and it's staggering, yet the prices are so attractive. In 2014, they made 44 million onks. They made 896,000 proofs. And they made only 249,000 satins, the coin here. 2015, it was 47 million onks. 696,000 proofs. And only 223,000 satin. Winner again. And then in 2016, we had 37.7 million onks. 521 proofs with the edge lettering, and then this one at 172, 802. One of the rarest edge, one of the rarest satins in the series, and it has edge lettering on top of it. Here is the dilemma. If you buy a 14, 15, or a 16 silver eagle in a capsule from our competition, you're going to be paying $89 to $99 for just these coins. The uncirculated coins. If you want to buy a proof coin from these three years, you're going to be paying about a buck fifty to a buck sixty on the fourteen and fifteen, and the sixteen because of the edge lettering is going to cost you about one sixty to one eighty in the marketplace today. And we talked about how the mintage on the W mint mark uncirculated, known as satin or burnished is significantly lower, which means it wins the race every year. Yet we tonight are the ones looking at this and scratching our heads and saying, huh. And I think part of it is they launched the unks early in the year. They launched the proofs later, uh, you know, early first quarter, in the early second quarter, the last few, right? And then late in the year, satin comes out. That's a good thing. Patience to those who wait. And waiting for this is, ah, absolutely. When you look at the coin, you can kind of tell. It has that matted appearance. So the paint analogy Allison uses is perfect, right? It's like somebody just blasted it with sand, which is what they actually did. But the real easy way to know the difference is that W mint mark on the reverse. They don't put W's, they don't put S's, they don't put P's on uncirculated coins in the Silver Eagle. The bucket has to be sealed to be labeled, but the coin doesn't have it. But this is the one of the three that I love because it holds a place in history. Our 30th anniversary Eagle, the Unk and the Proof had edge lettering, 
the proof, there were over 500,000. The satin finish, there was under 175,000. And the proof sells for $100 more. Can anybody explain to me in the world of where rarity matters, quality matters, how this one is inverted? Well, for our benefit, it's inverted. That's all I need to say, I guess, right? For our benefit. Now, 2006, 2007, 2008, they introduced satins, and people are loving it. 2009, we don't make any special issues. There's no proof, there's no satin. 2010, they bring back the proof silver eagle, and everybody's in an uproar. Where's the satin? And in 2011, they brought it back, and it's been there ever since. And every year, you ready? Every year without fail. Onk, proof, and the rarest and lowest mintage figure coin is the satin. Good question, Hunter, thank you. Uh, the your choice means, if you only want the older one, the 2014, because you have a 2015, join us and just pick that one up. They're only $79.95 each. The your choice means you do not have to buy all three to get that crazy pricing. But that's just it. Rarity matters, right? Why is the 93S so important? Because it's a low mintage, right? And the low mintage in 100 plus years ago means lower quantities known. It's no different than today's marketplace. Again, the unks, 44 million, 37 million, 30, I'm sorry, 44, 47, 37. The proofs, 896, 696, 521. And then the satins, 249, 223, and that crazy 172 on the 16. And that one has edge lettering. Yeah. Guys, we got to put a one-minute clock up. So our competition sells uncirculated coins and capsules. The regular coin with the 30 to 40, 37 to 47 million made. The regular coin, same weight, same size, same everything. No W mint mark for 89 to $99 a coin. More money than the rarest one. The proofs, which are double to triple the number of coins made, but they are proofs, and we all know proofs are beautiful. You got to give them that, right? Are between one. 40, 150, 160, and then that 16, the edge lettering, are a little bit more. Now, those have W mint mark, but they're $100 more. And this is rarer. That's where we have the opportunity to benefit. Finding the rarer coin at the better value, that's the hunt. It's always the hunt. And tonight, we're thrilled we can bring it to you. We're down to single digits on all of them across the board right now. So if, if they pick up, if, when, you, when they get to you and you want to buy all three and only two are left, get them. We'll find the third one later, right? Thanks for listening, but we have to be moving on.